Not sure what platform to stream on because there's so many and you have absolutely no idea which one would be the most successful for you. No problem. Welcome back to the Stream Loots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and stream loots. My name is Preacher and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Restream. Restream is a free to use platform that allows you to stream to multiple platforms to help you test the waters to see where you might have the best success as a streamer. Simultaneously, you can also broaden your audience. And while there is a paid subscription plan built into it, the free tier is actually pretty robust and it's very easy to use. The higher paid tiers allow you to go to more destinations and give you more real-time channel management, but it's not necessary if you're just starting out. Now, just to give you some practical application for Restream, during Mixer shutdown, as a Mixer partner, I was looking for other platforms to test the waters with, but I didn't wanna lose out on streaming to the platform that I had built my community around. So I Restreamed to both Mixer and Twitch simultaneously and was able to connect with both communities at the same time, both chats, and needless to say, it was a huge success. Being able to restream to both Mixer and Twitch simultaneously allowed me to connect with both communities and bring my community over to the platform that I was gonna go to. In today's video, I'm gonna go over some of Restream's key features, and then I'll show you how easy it is to set it up for your stream. With that being said, let's get into it. The first feature of Restream that I think is probably the most important is the chatbot. Now, the chatbot allows you to see what your viewers are saying on both platforms or the multiple platforms that you're streaming to. So, for example, I've selected my Twitch chat here. So, when I chat on my account on Twitch, you're going to see the message pop up with the Twitch icon next to it. And if I switch over to my Mixer chat, assuming I'm a viewer watching on Mixer, it's gonna pop up and show the icon from Mixer from that viewer. This is definitely one of the most important pieces of restreaming because you're gonna be able to connect with both audiences on both platforms simultaneously. So what if your viewers in one chat can't see the messages of the viewers in another chat? No problem at all. Restream actually makes it very easy to add your chat as an overlay by simply going over to the left side here, click on the chat tab, copy and paste this token, and then add it into your streaming software as a browser source. By doing this, you can then add a chat overlay that looks like this. And you can see just when I type in some messages on both platforms, it'll begin to pop up. What's more, this overlay can be edited to fit your style. Another great feature with Restream is the ability to edit titles on any of the platforms that you're streaming to. So for example, if I'm streaming to both of these platforms, I can update them simultaneously. This allows me to have two different titles on either platform, regardless of where I'm streaming. Another awesome feature with Restream is the ability to rebroadcast a pre-recorded video. By going to the scheduler tab here, you can then upload videos to broadcast at a later time based on when you schedule that event. Simply upload the video, add the channels you want to restream that video to, and then schedule the event. The social alerts feature found underneath the destinations tab allows you to connect multiple platforms like Twitter, Discord, and Facebook, and allows you to give a pre-written message to alert your followers and your community the next time you go live through Restream. This is a great feature to keep your community across multiple social media platforms connected. The analytics feature is a great way to monitor the health of each of your streams across multiple platforms. So for example, when I look over here at the watched minutes, I can see where people are watching. I can also see the average viewership, uh, the maximum peak viewers, total watched minutes, and if I add my different accounts here, I can see the comparison from both Mixer and Twitch in this case. In addition to the follower and viewer analytics that Restream offers, they also give uh, stream quality information as well by looking at the monitor incoming tab and the monitor outgoing tab. Restream's analytics are super detailed and are ultimately a great resource to monitor the success of your streams on each individual platform. Now that we've gone over some of the main features for Restream, let me show you how to set it up and really how easy it is to get started with Restream. To get started with Restream, simply go to Restream.io, create a username, enter an email, create a password, and then click sign up for free. Once you've logged into Restream, you can begin adding the channels that you would like to Restream to. 
Simply click the add channel, select the account that you'd like to stream to, connect it, and then it'll be added to your list of platforms right here. If in the future you want to disable streaming to a particular platform, simply use the button here and turn it off. Once you have your platform selected, you can then update the titles to each of those platforms that can be unique like we talked about before, and then you're all set. After you've connected your accounts and you've updated the titles, you're now ready to add this to your streaming software. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use Streamlabs OBS to set up Restream within the settings of Streamlabs. To do this, we're going to need to grab our Restream unique stream key here. So simply copy and paste this and then go into your streaming software, click on settings, go to stream. You're going to select streaming services, restream.io-rtmp, and then add your stream key here. Once you've done that, click done, and you're all set to go. Once you click go live in your streaming software, you're now going to be restreaming to all of the platforms that you previously connected with Restream. And that is it for this video, you guys. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. We hope this helps you test the waters with different platforms and also broaden your audience as a content creator. If you have any questions at all or want to add some comments to the conversation we're having about Restream, please drop them in the comments section below. And as always, you guys, to stay up to date with all things streaming and stream loots, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.